Hammers up everyone, Tally here. We're on to Legion Alpha today. Let's discuss World Quest. This is a new feature just got announced uh, for Alpha testing. Let's go straight to the blue post, see what they say so we can get a better idea from what I'm about to show you after we check this out. First, you don't have to head to a daily quest hub to gather up quests, thank God. Once you've unlocked World Quest, simply open up your map and look around. You will see a variety of things to do, including which loot and reputation gains you can earn from each activity. You will plan your adventure, then head out into the wilds. Second, World Quests encompass many types of gameplay. World Quest will show you, your, you quests, rare elite spawns, rare spawns, pet battles, outdoor PvP activities, world bosses, special dungeon activities, profession activities, and more. Want to know what there is to do in Azeroth today? Just open up your map. Third, and perhaps most importantly, World Quests aren't daily. Some World Quests will stick around for a week, such as World Bosses, while others will rotate every three hours, such as PvP Towers, which is a way for them to kind of entice you to world pvp hopefully it works our goal is for your map to be an evolving landscape of engagement throughout the day where interesting things can pop up periodically rather than on a strictly daily basis all right let's uh log in here so we can take a look at this uh world quest i'm kind of excited um if you're not familiar with the adventure modes in diablo it is taking a spin on that and wowanizing it I'm not sure if that's an actual term that we can use wowanizing um, I don't I don't think wow and eyes is a word. But anyway, so here's a look at the um, adventure mode for Diablo. Anyone who's played Diablo 3 recognizes this. I believe this was added in 2.3 point... Damn, I don't even know. Might have been 2.3? I, I don't know my Diablo 2. I don't do the whole seasonal uh, stuff for Diablo. But this is basically what it looks like. And once we log in here into WoW, you will see uh, an equivalent to that. That's uh, well, Blue Bar of Death. And yes, once again, the World of Warcraft original loading screen is back for Alpha. Uh, I don't know why. They usually don't come out with the normal um, new like expansion, or in this case, Legion loading screen for, until like the very, very end. It's almost like the biggest surprise. Like the loading screen to log into the game, or the login screen, or the loading screen are always like the last to come in. All right, so let's take a look at the world quests Nelly, there are quite a few so as you can see here with the world quest we have high mountain tribe and we have the valajar those are your emissaries you're going to have every i think it's three days you have these quests coming from your emissaries which is basically the reputation uh for each uh zone in broken isles you have here the valajar and you have your high mountain so right now we're in high mountain once you can see when you highlight it it'll highlight the quest now these quests that are highlighted are the ones that count toward the objective right here which is to complete four high mountain tribe world quests once you do that you get a little you got 19 gold and a little cash a box um so far just from testing once again this is very bare bones this is the first version of world quest they're obviously 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 they're obviously going to you know uh give us an actual information onto what's going to be in the box but so far i've gotten 300 gold from one box and 80 artifact power from another so whatever's highlighted i'll show it again are the ones that you want to do that count toward that quest so right now uh there's pet battles yes i've actually had to do pet battles to complete uh this quest let's see if i can it's hard so it's it's kind of broken as you can see i have to kind of put my mouse around this area just to find i can't even get any of these to show oh here, oh, here we go hey so this one's called critical crops um save the farm 850 order resources i've actually acquired um how many resources do i have from doing world quests so far i have quite a bit um i have 4730 i don't think it's supposed to be that much but that's what we have right now um these are the pvp zones uh for the world quests if i can just there you go oh oh there you go so warden's tower assault cordana's apex so this is for them to basically try to entice you guys to do world pvp we know where world pvp is right now uh it's not in the greatest spot in the world but if this can create any sort of world PvP, and once again, this all happens at level 110. You can't even see these quests unless you hit 110. So you get the Boots of Efficiency, uh, equip a follower with boots. Uh, obviously, this is a reward that you can use for your class order hall. Um, let's take a look at this one here. This one, we just looked at it. These would be the ones with the little dragon icon, the elite icon around it. These would be um, group quests that you would want to do with a group. As you can see, this one gives you a traveler's backpack. Uh, the Traveler's Backpack, will, uh, you can equip it on one of your followers. So when you send them on a mission, they come back. They can come back with like an epic or a mount or a pet, according to Blizzard. Something that's really high in value. 
this right here, that's in Valshara. Let me see, what's this one give you? Come on. Uh, uh. These are the ones that we want. So captive rescued from uh, captive rescued from the Grey Bazaar. You get 20 artifact power for doing these. Um, now people are asking, is this really endgame? What this is, in my opinion, is another form of content to choose from once you hit 110. If you you can do all these quests and you can get a shit ton of artifact power. And that's what right now artifact power is so hard to get. Um, leveling from 100 to 110. Um, and I think Blizzard's doing that obviously so that the content lasts a little longer. So you, you don't, you know, just buy the game, play for a, a month, hit 110, and then be like, all right, I did LFR, I'm done with the game. I have all my best in slot LFR gear, I'm good to go. Um, the you know, unlocking your artifact weapon is very, very important, and a lot of these world quests give you artifact power. Uh, you also have really cool ones like this, which is a mining world quest. A lot of world quests will, ca will cater to your professions. So I have mining um, on a few characters. So basically you go here, um, Brimstone Destroyer Core Mind. I believe that's like a mob. You kill him, you mine him, and then the reward is you get 50 Fell Slate. Fell Slate is basically the Fell Steel of this expansion. Uh, for the food, let's see what the food one is. Um, <laughs> thick Slab of Bacon, Fatty Bear Steak. That's great. And also tells you how long is left because these quests are changing. They have about 300 quests currently available. So the quests are always going to be changing um, every couple of hours or every day. Uh, this one says very long. Uh, even the emissary ones tell you long time left, very long. Now let's take a look at some other areas. Valshara has their own here too. Uh, mining, pet battles, PvP. Uh, Azuna has a world boss right now available. Uh, to do. It'll tell you um, what you get for killing the world boss. Um, there's a few of them that are that are catered toward dungeons. Let me see if I can find a dungeon one. Let me see. Azuna. I think this is a dungeon one. Let me... Oh, oh there we go. Uh, massive Azunian Pearls, Wrath of Ashara Slain. Now, this is a dungeon world quest. So, these world quests don't just, you know, make you farm, kill boars, and win. You know, this one requires you to actually go into the dungeon kill the Wrath of Ashara in the Eye of Ashara dungeon, five man, and then my reward will be this amazing plus 31 arcane artifact relic, uh, which adds one rank to my Righteous Crusader trait. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, man, the pet battle ones are the ones that kill me. Sometimes you have to actually do the pet battle ones, so I had to, like, go and level a pet and give them a stone, and I've never done pet battle stuff, but i like to hear what you guys think about this. Because even though it's definitely taking uh, a big chunk of what the adventure mode is from Diablo 3, I think bring, uh, you know Blizzard using a lot of Diablo's features and wowanizing them and bringing them to wow and having us use them um, is pretty exciting. And let me see if I can get one. Let's get this artifact power one right here. Where is this one? This one is Pioneers of Greystone. Uh, that would be... I think we're going right toward it. Please don't die. Please don't die. Whee! Let's see if we can get this one done really quick. Hopefully, uh, once you get into the area, it should just trigger. Oh, this guy died. Noob. J JK, JK. Huh, nothing's happening here. Maybe I have to go inside. Let's go inside. Greenstone Enclave. Sounds about right. Ah, World Quest. And then you actually have, like, someone, some NPC tell you, we lost contact with one of my Pathfinder teams that was scouting the Greystone area. Please find him. So, you know... Blizzard is taking the time to put a little bit of the lore of the area into these world quests. So, um, what are we doing? We're captives rescued. Where are they? I don't see where these captives actually are. I don't think we've hit that that part yet. I'm just gonna try to sneak past everything and not, I, 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 no, 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 God damn it! I aggroed. I aggroed. Oh, there they are. I see the captives. Now, are these difficult? Not really. The difficult ones are actually the elite rares, which have about 40 to 50 million HP. I think I can solo some of those, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, some seem, right now, nothing's really tuned properly for those bosses, because some hit me like a truck when I was with three other people, and then some I could just easily solo, but it would take me as a tank about, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes to solo them. Now, the world bosses, there's no way you're going to solo that. I mean, they have about 700 million HP. If you have 40 people hitting them, it's almost like a billion. Um, so the world boss ones are going to be really cool. But they're, you know, obviously they're a Zerg Fest. I'm not going to sugarcoat the world quest as being an amazing, you know, end game progression content. But it is something else to do once you hit 110. Excuse me, I keep saying 100 and I know throughout the whole video and it sucks. 
But what I really like about it is the artifact power, man. We, we're going to need so much artifact power for progression and for mythic raids. And I'm talking from a, uh, a raiding standpoint here that, I mean, it's basically mandatory. Um, but for others, you can pick and choose whichever world quest you want, man. I mean, if you want to go... Let me see if this completes it right here. Oh, Captain Leader rescued from Basilisk Pit. Damn, I thought I was done. <laughs> I was like, God damn it. Um... You know, and like if you want to do pets, you do pets. If you want a PvP, you get the PvP world quest done. What's so right now, as you're looking at a lot of these, you're you're seeing okay. So, a lot of the gear that we're going to be getting is like 820 gear, 810 gear. Now, this will only be a successful feature if Blizzard continues to add more to the already 300 quests, and if they start giving you better gear, um, as they make more of these quests. Now, what am I doing here? Uh, Pathfinder Lily. Is that her? That could be it. I mean, I see you're right. There's a little thing on Who is that? Who's this guy? See the guy up there has 3 million HP, but he's not... Oh, he's coming down. Yep, he wants he wants some. Come get some. Interrupted. I'm really bad right now. Don't worry about me. But I definitely want to hear everyone's opinion on these world quests. Once again, you know, all my videos are, you know gonna be basically talking about legion features and obviously yeah i want to start the hype train man you know i'm not about all this current hate bs hate wow for this hate wow for that you know i'm moving forward i want to play the next expansion and i want to tell people what's in the next expansion without giving people incorrect and falsified information so for those asking me i know everyone wants me to do a, a garrison comparison to class halls but i will not do that uh, i refuse to just you know overreact and explode on the subject just because I see, you know, you being able to move your followers into a mission. There's a lot more to it. If you've been watching my stream, I have disproved almost every video I've seen whine about it. And, uh, yeah. Let's mine this guy up. Ooh, I got Laystone. Alright, what's next? Uh, Ronier Wrangler Slain. I think I'm going the right way. Dude, this, this place is insane. And obviously, a lot of these world quests take place in areas where you might have quested already. So you're going to be pretty familiar with a lot of the areas. Some are just random rares located in other uh, parts of the Broken Isles. Here it is, the Grey Bazaar. And there's Ronier Wrangler. Better jeans. Oh, wow. Okay. This guy's about 5 million HP. Let me get freedom out of this crap. But yeah, definitely want your guys' opinion. I'm pretty excited about these world quests. Um, you know, because the second I hit 110, I'm doing heroic dungeons to get my uh, artifact power. And I'm doing every world quest available that can give me artifact power. And let's finish them off. Bam. There we go. So that's that. Thank you, champion. I appreciate you preventing my people from being reduced to basilisk chow. No problem. I'm here to serve. So from this, I got 38 silver. That's from killing him. Uh, my High Mountain Tribe uh, reputation got increased, and I also got a Primitive uh, Rog Totem. So now I could just take that Primitive Rog Totem, which looks like a cool uh, fist bump, add it to my Artifact Weapon, and now I have 20 more uh, uh, AP for my Truth Guard. Well, once again, uh, we'll take a quick look at the um, World Quests, how they're going to look like to you guys once you hit level 110. And it really is as easy as that. I, I literally hit 110, and I just looked at my map, and all of these quests just spawned up everywhere. And um, people will pick and choose which ones they want to do. And you can see in the bottom left, I've completed one of four. Uh, if you guys want to see any more videos and any more features of Legion, let me know. Once again, the Class Order Halls versus Garrisons video will not be done until, you know, the, the current Class Order Hall is at least more than 10% done. Because right now, that's all we have. We have 10% of the entire system implemented, um, which of that 10%, 90% requires you to leave your class order hall to do quests and bring stuff back to your class order hall, not vice versa, how it is currently in the garrisons. But that will be for another video. This has been Tally. Check me out, guys. Twitch.tv slash Tally. We're always doing Legion content every day. There's always something new for us to do and check out. Um, this week, we're going to be doing a lot of heavy Mythic Plus dungeons, plus professions that I haven't done or completed yet and more world quests and more AP gathering. And I will be making a video series soon on leveling from 100 to 110. It's gonna be one of those videos where I don't talk at all. You're just gonna hear like soothing music in the background while I'm leveling, might be a little boring, but it'll give people an idea of how long it'll take to level um, in World of Warcraft Legion. Peace out guys, see you later. Hammers up.